Not good. Not going to end well. Sigurd, is there a problem? We'll go see Tomna. Just the two of us. Ivar and Uba will wait here. Better if Tomna thinks we've come alone. The truth is, I don't think any of us can stop Ivar from cleaving her head open. It's all he was spewing the whole way over here. Right. Shall we? We'll return shortly. A small fortune for whoever sent Tomna to hell. I'll hold you to that. From what I overheard in Repton, the brothers had an arrangement with Tona. What happened? She's a mercenary. Uba used her for men and information. But that relationship soured now that Burgret is all but defeated. From what I heard, Tona has hunger for two things. Soft silver and a stern hunt. Neither of which earns you true loyalty. If she can't be trusted, what use is she? That is for us to find out. We may be able to satisfy her. And if we can't? Eva did tell you to bring your axe. And here they are, as expected. She takes a liking to you. Keep talking. She's more your type, I think. No, no. This is your challenge. Come now. Don't drag your feet. We'll attack on sight here. Sigurd. What brings you strolling into my camp this brisk day? I suspect you already know. Yes. <laughs> the embers on the air betray you. And yet, if you are here talking to me, King Burgeret remains at large. And who are you, lovely dove? Want to perch your ass on my lap? Call me Eivor, or Wolfkist, lovely dove. We'll get your throat cut. Come now. You are too clever to run with those Ragnarsson dogs. Plenty of room on this side, if you want to earn some coin. We came for your help, not your flattery. Where is King Burgret? That is what you want. And what makes you think I have the slightest idea? 
We found letters. Records of trade. The two of you have a history. What can I say? The king pays well for my services. If only I could say the same for those two Ragnarsson clods. You're dealing with me now, and I want to know what you know. Name your price. Very well. I could use another cow. And you can cover the cost. You take me for a fool. I take you for desperate beggars. I can smell it on you like dung heap. Now that's my price. What say you? You heard me the first time. But I'll get what I need one way or another. No, no. You have shot your chance. And if you show your faces around here once more, I will tear you limb from limb. Well, that is not the result I was hoping for. I hope you have another idea. Tona keeps a close eye on whoever she deals with. If Burgred is keeping records, so is she. Somewhere behind those walls. See what you can find. I'll go back to the brothers. Keep those gates locked. If they come within a foot of here, kill them! Happened out there. The Ragnarsons came yeah. through, just like Tona said they would. I suppose they didn't reach an agreement. Huh. What gave it away?
Jammed. Need to get on the other side. Aid me, be my eyes. Tonus Longhouse. I should have a look around.
What's going on?
так все.
See. I am taking your head to 
the right person. That'll teach them to trust me. Don't fall for any traps. No, no you're dead! Dead! Clever. Let's see what secrets you keep, Tona. <laughs> this might be something. Looks like Burgred once paid Tona to steer the Ragnar sons away from two areas. Burgred's private hunts, perhaps. He could be at either one. Shouldn't have been so greedy, Tona. Right, back to the brothers. Vigilant. Eivor, tell us you learned something. 
Let Estra and Templebroth fought. What do you know about them? Hmm. Lederchus is a large village. And Templebroch, it's an old military fort. Not much else. Burkrit could be at either one. We should check both as soon as possible. And what do we do with Tona? I would bet the sweat off my sack she's writing to Borgred now, offering silver for a warning about us. Let me worry about that. We should get moving, Drinkit. I can take the fortress of Templebroch. I will join you, Sigurd. That leaves me Lederchester, then. All by my fucking lonesome. Bring a friend, brother. Maybe Eivor dares to be called that. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with all of you soon. <laughs>